Let's look at the algebra question on logs in a series of conceptual questions solved from CAT papers and learning through conceptual questions is one of the most important aspects of your preparation for CAT or any other aptitude exam. And as you know, most exams are going the CAT way and hence uh, even if you are preparing for other exams, this series will help you a lot in understanding how question triggers are embedded inside the question. So in this question, x and y are positive real numbers. So first thing you need to understand is they are positive and they are real. It does mean they need not be integers, first of all. Such that log to the base x, x squared plus 12 is equal to 4. So now you have to stop at this point in your reading. Before you read ahead, you have, you have a trigger on which you can do certain mathematical activity. And that activity in this context can go in two ways. The first way to think about it is using the definition of logs. The definition of log is, is basically that if log a to the base b is equal to c, then the definition of log tells you that b raised to c is equal to a. So if you use the definition of logs here, if you use the definition of logs in this question, what you will get is that x raised to 4 is equal to x raised to 4 is equal to x squared plus 12. And if you use uh, x squared as a, then what will happen is that this will become a square is equal to a plus 12, which is a quality equation, which works out to a square minus a minus 12 is equal to 0. And uh, when you when you solve this for the equation, you can write this as a square minus 4a, that's the minus 4a plus 3a minus 12 is equal to 0. So that ends up giving you a into a minus 4 plus 3 into a minus 4 is equal to 0, which we get, ends up as a plus 3 into a minus 4 is 0, which uh, that context then becomes a can be either 4 or a can be minus 3, but we can rule out minus 3 because we are talking about a being equal to x square and hence we come out with an outcome of x square is equal to 4 and since x is positive that gives you the value of x is 2. So this is the mathematical way of approaching this part of the solution. But and then once you have this you, you take care of this part the second equation and 3 log x to the base y equals 1 means log now x is 2 we know that this is log 2 cubed to the base y is equal to 1 which is log 8 to the base y is 1 and using the logic where that log a to the base a is 1 you realize that the value of y is 8 and hence x is 8 uh, x is 2 y is 8 so x plus y becomes 10. Now this is one way of getting through this solution but there is a faster way to get through this solution if you can avoid all this uh, all the work you did here and instead focus on one simple thing let me uh, just eliminate this entire writing here and based let me show you an alternate way of solving this and this solving could be simply that if you look at this trigger again log x square plus 12 is equal to 4 to the base x you you realize if you start inserting values here or, or you simply uh, take this to the next level of x raised to 4 is equal to x squared plus 12 and rather than blindly going through algebraic solution if you just try to start thinking which power which number with the power of 4 although it says real number it's very evident that this will not happen on decimals and uh, hence because power of if it's a decimal power fourth power will not match up to x squared plus 12 on that side so if you start thinking integers you immediately see the value of 2 here x is 2 gives me 4 plus 12 16 and 2 raised to 4 is 16 and you immediately get that x is 2 and once x is 2 once you get that if you get that this way then the problem solved solution this take this will barely take you 20 30 seconds so you can actually solve this entire question under a minute to get x plus y as 10 and that's how you should actually think in the cat so the learning from this question that you take is that do not get too stuck 
into mathematical solutions because if you do that all the time if you are too oriented mathematically and you are uh, like a horse with blinkers and you cannot think outside the mathematical solutions and you go all the way the way i showed you here then you tend to have a, a really bad experience in the exam because not only does it eat up time the other problem is that you might make mistakes when you're doing so many steps and you will not even get those marks so remember this and follow me for more thank you so much bye bye